Welcome to the Blokes Podcast. I'm Adam. And I'm Greg. And we sit down once a week to shoot the breeze. We chat about anything and everything. Sports, films, drinking, politics, music, etc. So sit back, crack open a beer and enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blokes Podcast. We're here. We've made it. Hello. Episode 10. My goodness. How I can't have believe we done we've done it. it. The whole yeah. first series in the can. But almost. We're on the final hurdle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're let's, uh, we're let's about not get to ahead screw of ourselves, up royally. <laughs> <laughs> because this week we have a guest. We have our very first guest on the podcast. Oh, yes, we do. Exciting times. One of our favourite blokes in the world. His name is Eric. He comes from a land far, far away. Um, <laughs> so everybody welcome Eric how are you I'm great I'm very glad to be here um, you know I'm a, an avid listener probably the only listener all of those times where you're saying oh our one listener's listening in I do feel very special when you say that it's sort of like, it's a, are your ears burning like, oh there we go yeah. shout out gang <laughs> it's the equivalent of saying your name because you, you're so sure no one else is listening but yeah. this is it this is it you know when it, I think I think a couple of times it's been mentioned like oh yeah Eric and Eric would know this he'd, he'd, he'd know this <laughs> it's sort of like well, I mean, I'm not going to say I do, but <laughs> that is your that is your full name, isn't it, Eric Listener? Listener yeah, is Eric your Lis- surname. Eric Miscellaneous <laughs> Listener. I mean, if we want to have my full name, you know, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, as per usual, we're in the virtual pub, um, and y- indeed, you're going to help us out today. You're going to chip in with a few few yeah. tidbits. You have a few specialist specialist subjects. We'll That's do our, it. Well, I'm, we'll I'm glad I've managed to get a get a a, a, a table in the virtual pub. I mean, I thought it was just going to be like side to side. I mean, the Perspex glass is a little bit difficult to uh, speak through, but I think you've got my sound coming in. Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> you did have to leave your name and your number just in case uh, you it. get a virtual COVID and we have to ring you up later That's down the line. It. Yeah, we will, uh, we'll see what happens. It's touch and go, lads. Yeah. <laughs> you turned up last week, but because you hadn't booked pre-booked, they wouldn't let you in. So well, this is it. Problem, I yeah. had to drink in the bus stop, bus stop again like a chump, you know. I mean, yeah. it, it it's it's not on not on speaking of which uh, as you probably know by now we often start the podcast with a beer so um i'll kick things off while you scramble to find that beer you've forgotten about and uh, <laughs> so today i'm drinking a um continuing with the theme of sort of american pale ales i've got a uh, a bottle of shipyard american ipa this is from portland maine usa um five percent um, and I'm guessing this is going to be quite similar to last week. Um, that classic citrus hoppy. Um, mm-hmm. In fact, they've they've handily written all the things I need to know on the back of this. This is classic. <laughs> this is brilliant yeah. because it literally says style American IPA ABV five C <laughs> gold smell vibrant <laughs> taste citrus <laughs> so yeah, it. uh, it's like it has been designed for this show yeah, yeah. It's like they, they, the surface level no no deeper understanding needed so just give us exactly what we need and boom that's it muppets <laughs> who don't know what they're talking about like us this is yeah. perfect for us because i can just you repeat parrot fashion what this tells me to smell or taste <laughs> um uh. and yeah funnily enough they're right it is a deep gold color and i'm getting i'm getting that classic fruity citrusy american American vibe. I should say that I've uh, I've been in the park today. I've been at Primrose Hill in North London, having a little little get together for a mate's a mate's birthday. And uh, lovely. I'm I'm already four John Smiths down. Oh wow! So uh, that's, I'm, that's I'm heavy limber. weapons. That is. Oh, this is it. Here we go. I'm Lucy okay. Goosey. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some censorship this week. There shall oh, be. Oh, oh, my. It's, uh, the raw source is inbound, and I, and I was worried that I uh, that I had one over my dinner. Because I went oh, down dear. to shops earlier uh, to my uh, discount alcoholic retailer near me, and uh, other was... discount alcoholic retailers are available. They are, <laughs> yes, only the highest of quality. Uh, and I thought, you know what? As the avid listener, I would get a selection selection of ales to choose from. Oh, wow. um, the Scotch selection was appalling. It was sort of like you know, it came in a, like a brown 
a brown uh, paper bag and it was the sort of thing that one would see a, a gangster sitting on the curbside rolling bones <laughs> and, uh, and and consuming that. So I thought, we'll give the scotch a miss. And then the beers I got, one of them didn't make it past dinner. And I thought, hang on, guys, we've got to slow down. I've done the That's ultimate good. white girl mistake here of uh, <laughs> drinking on an empty stomach. I'm going to be I'm going to be urinating in a gutter by about 10 o'clock, uh, you know, kebab in my hair. So... Uh, I've Terrific. moving on to the beers that I've got <laughs> and off, my, and off my, my train wreck Saturday nights uh, I have got a lovely little tipple here weapon numero one is <laughs> Clogwin Gold which is a golden hoppy ale from the Conwy Brewery now where I am up in magical North Wales uh, I'm very lucky to have a, an independent microbrewery literally within you know five minute drive away from me maybe a 10 minute cycle if i was feeling adventurous and i'm very supportive of their efforts great, and great. being a lager man i thought you know what let's give something uh, let's give something different a bit of a go tonight so mm-hmm. it's a golden hoppy ale oh, i'm not normally God. an ale drinker so we'll see how i get on with this but i will pretty much drink anything that, that turps up you know so <laughs> yeah. anything that can strip paint yeah. <laughs> oh, straight from the bottle as well. Oh, wow. I love it. Man <laughs> after my own heart. I love it. That's nice and fruity, that is. That mm. is a nice... It's got a very summery... I can almost taste the gold in this bad boy. Nice. <laughs> so it's nice, and, so, it's nice and fresh. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. I like that. The taste... Mm. Of, oh, it's, this one is also a podcast-friendly beer for the... Uh, <laughs> The, uh, for the, the lazy producers amongst us. Tropical <laughs> fruit aromas followed by sweet malts and gentle hoppy forward slash bitter aftertaste. Ooh. <laughs> Mate, it sounds, it sounds like we're drinking a very similar thing here. Mm-hmm. It sounds like we're on the same, uh, we're on the same drinks menu. Oh, there we go. Oh, lovely. Nice. Well, I will um, diverge from the uh, golden ales here and I'm going down a darker route. Oh, okay. This is Here my this is my wheelhouse, though. This is this is where I like to live. Um, <laughs> now it's from one of my favourite breweries, actually, Witchwood Brewery, which does Hobgoblin, nice. which is my Ooh. my go to. Um, but this is one I'd never heard of, actually. Um, it's called Arrow Wayne, or yeah, oh, Arrow Wayne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's got a picture of a lady shooting a bow and arrow on it. Um, <laughs> nice. But it's a it's a Target dark market. beer, and it is effectively. It's effectively chocolate milk in a beer form, and it's just so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, it's it's not even bitter at all, man. It's just so sweet and chocolatey and just dark, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's like the horns of beer. You got it. It's, yeah, yeah sends you right to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been enjoying that. I've should mention I've basically at my in laws' place at the moment, and this is um, my father in law's. Uh, from his collection and oh, nice. yeah it's a, it's a keeper and when we get to the whiskey you'll see uh you'll see what we've uh what we've got i was about to say on. lucky boy being able to raid somebody else's drinks covered it that is the dream <laughs> it's the 10th episode man you know gotta gotta up the game a little bit yeah definitely definitely <laughs> series finale go out with a bang <laughs> Well, do you even have to mark the back of the bottle? You know, do you have to refill it with some sort of lesser <laughs> scotch? Or a, well, those days, those days maybe are gone. Who knows? Yeah, but, I think yeah. we're okay. I think we're okay now. But I think we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> terrific, yeah. terrific. So, what sort of Beautiful. percentage are we talking? Is that is that going to knock you out? So it's only no, it's only three point six. So, it's, I guess that's where the the sort of sweetness is coming from. It's it's not particularly bitter at all, and it's not hitting you in the face, but just very smooth. And like I say, it's just straight up chocolate. Nice, um, nice. Does it look? Taste, does it look it? like chocolate as well? Yeah, it's like it looks like Nuki Brown. Oh, mm. nice. Yeah. yeah, it looks exactly like that, but isn't Nuki Brown? That's an <laughs> interesting topic actually, because there's that sort of controversial little rule, isn't there, that you should drink a Nuki Brown from a half pint glass? A schooner. Yeah. I think you'll find it this called. Is it? Oh, is it larger than a half pint then? I think it's on him. No, no. I, I believe they're both imperial measurements. But oh, oh okay. I think so, it's. I think it's slightly well, yeah, larger. A, than a pint half. is imperial, isn't it? Yeah, pints imperial. I think it's slightly larger than a half pint, but but it's got a little stem, hasn't it? It's like it a does. short. You know those sort of French wine glasses that you get on the stubby wine glasses you get in mm. Paris. It's like a s- even smaller version of that. Yeah. It's obviously got the Nuki Brown logo on it, but you buy you still buy the full bottle, don't you? Yeah. But then you have to stand there and pour half it out, drink half of it, and then fill you know pour the rest out. Yeah. I don't know why that is though. 
what, I think it's something with, to do with the taste, because I remember, you know... <laughs> well, it's the, got to be. It's a, it's a the, drink, for God's sake. Well, yeah, yeah. I would expect <laughs> it's got so, to be but... to do with the taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can tell he's had a few John Smiths. Yeah. <laughs> Such a bitch. <laughs> Claws are out. Claws are out, mate. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, no, I think dear. I might take my custom to another virtual pub if, yeah. if this is going to be the sort of, <laughs> This is the standard of clientele. I will, I will go back to the bus stop. <laughs> well, the spoons are waiting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, so, I mean, if, if I may get back to my uh, my original point so so eloquently made it, it's it's something to do with the taste because one time i was up in the northeast and i poured a bottle of newcastle brown into a full-size pint glass and the locals didn't take kindly to it so I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, they is almost... it even a pint in that bottle it's not quite a pint is it well no no i, I think i just poured it into a pint glass and right. they you know they 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 could tell I wasn't from around there. There's, you know, like, Eric, stick to this sweet sherry and uh, <laughs> please don't come back up north again. <laughs> I'm sure those were the exact words, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, something along those lines. Yeah, with a few YI pets in there and miscellaneous yeah. northern noises, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense to me. Like, just, just, ah, uh, I have no words to say. Like, just pour it into a glass that fits the amount yeah. you've got, right? I think it's. I mean, it, I see. It, it maybe it's a marketing trick, or it, you know, because everyone remembers. Oh, that's the funny thing you do with Nuki Brown, right? The half pint thing. Yeah, yeah so I maybe guess. That's the, maybe that's why they do it. it. Seems like one of the least northern things I've ever heard of, though. Like, yeah, that, yeah, they're, they're exactly. You about what that. glass you drink it out of. Like, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't sound like someone from Newcastle that I'd know, but maybe. Yeah, I must be wrong. I'd like to ask a listener, but. Uh, We've got the only listener we have in front of us. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... yeah, you shot, you shot, yeah. you shot your bolt being sarky earlier. I mean, my 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 pearls of uh, Newcastle Brown related wisdom are, are now firmly shut off to you, little Miss Bitty Pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking around because um, we do have another listener, oh. and uh, he uh, messaged messaged in this week. So, uh, oh my this, goodness, this gentleman. Um, lives in Australia, right? And he's Ooh. he's listening through the through the podcast and he got to the the point in the podcast, I think it was maybe a couple of weeks ago, where I recounted the story of waking up in the middle of the night being bitten by a bug. Um, yeah. and he and he was like <laughs> he's like, mate, I've got it. I know what bug yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you're referring to the inaugural, inaugural uh, episode of which bug is this on my face, right? <laughs> yeah, that what, the, what's that bug? Yeah. Yeah, no, what's that bug? That's it. <laughs> So uh, he's he said it's a cockroach. He's like mm. here in Australia we have um, he well he said a big problem but I'm sure just because it's hot there's, there are far more cockroaches around and he's like uh, yeah we have to get our houses fumigated approximately once a year basically it's just a standard what? thing that's not like that's not like it's a disgusting horrible dirty house that's like just standard fare like most respectable places get fumigated to get rid of roaches mm. once a year. <laughs> and uh he's like yeah so they they bite basically and they he says they're about the right size that you were describing you would have flicked it off you know it would have crawled um and obviously this freaks me out because it's a cockroach they're the most disgusting thing on the planet mm. um and yeah but I, <laughs> that's what he thinks that's his uh that's his two dollars worth of uh expert you know, <laughs> well, that's, that's that's interesting. I mean, there's clear. I mean, there's clearly a man who has not seen Men in Black One, given the size <laughs> of the cockroaches <laughs> on which Will Smith stands. Yeah, <laughs> when he gets that enormous, massive thing they? down the side of it. I mean, those things are yeah. like a fifty pence piece. You know, they're a unit. I mean, mm. but they must have been a, a baby at some point, though, right? They must have been smaller. They don't. They're not born that size. So maybe it was just no. a, little, a wee man, a you, wee tiddler. You, you smashed a poor innocent. Baby Look. cockroach. <laughs> All he wanted to do was give you a hug. No, no mm. sympathy. <laughs> no sympathy for the roaches. So, so that's what we're going for. Are we going for an adolescent cockroach? Is what bit <laughs> well, you in? I mean, what did we say? We said, uh, <laughs> yeah, specifically between the ages of thirteen and fifteen. Uh, <laughs> he just had a bit of peach fuzz on his face as well. He was trying to grow a ratty little beard. He was Store. having a rebellious streak. He thought, you know what? I'm going to blow yeah. this blow this you know, square town and make it big and, <laughs> yeah. and, and look what happened <laughs> I'm sure he had a little emo fringe as well he was going through a phase <laughs> yeah. this adolescent cockroach <laughs> yeah oh man there um, go. okay wow I think well, yeah we said it was like a black beetle or something so yeah similar sort of thing isn't it 
But yeah, I, I, I thought you'd be interested to, <laughs> to know what's that, is that bug. <laughs> you know, I'm just excited we got someone to to email us in. That's uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty happy.